Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second layout that I'm making using the A Beautiful Mess Messy Box kit as well as the Happy Mail kit. I pull a few things from the Happy Mail um, kit to complete this layout. Now, if you watched my video on Tuesday, you'll see that I am using the same supplies that I had pulled out for that layout. Um, since these photos are from exactly the same time and they were the last photos I needed to scrapbook for November of 2014, I decided just to go with it. I still had a lot of the uh, tans and yellow papers left and so I decided just to go ahead and make another 12 by 12 layout using the same papers and supplies that I have out. Um, I'm originally going to start with this craft background. I wanted something a little bit different and I um, had originally pulled out a craft, a yellow, and a white and I already used the white so I thought a craft would be a good um, selection to start with. I don't I'm not going to keep that though. I'm going to go back and change it to white after I've completely constructed my layout. You'll see me. I'll have to reconstruct it, but it's fairly easy because I created one large paper cluster and then I kind of moved um, things around like that before I adhered the whole thing down. I am again putting my borders around the outside. When I have just a plain cardstock background, I like to put the borders or some sort of border around the outside just to, to give your eye an ending um, place for the sides. When it's a pattern paper, it's pretty clear where the edges are. Um, for some reason, when it's a solid piece of cardstock, even if it's a dark color, I feel like things just kind of fall off the page if you don't put borders and so I tend to use borders especially when I have like a centralized layout. So these are my three main pieces that I'm going to use. I have my background. I have this large um, it's nine by two and a half approximately piece and then I have this four by six card. Now I'm going to trim off part of that four by six card that's under the photo because I like the lines that are on the opposite side and I want to conserve those. It's like journaling lines. So I'm going to play off the polka dots that are in this larger piece. Um, this this uh, kit, I've noticed, has a little bit um, the, how should I, this, this is not negative in any way, and I don't mean it negative anyway, but it has things that are not like the real trendy um, things. And I don't know, maybe this is becoming the trend with the more abstract styles of patterns and like the... Um, like paint swooshing lines and all of that. Um, but it's a little bit different for me. This is not typically my style that I scrapbook on these patterns, but because of that, it's made me think a little bit differently. Um, well, that and the fact that there aren't any 12 by 12 papers, there are nine by 12 papers. So it's, it's forcing me to use things that are a little bit different for me, which I really like. It's making me step outside my box. And I love that because if it works, why fix it? That's kind of my philosophy. So sometimes I get I scrapbook in the same kind of style or patterns that I that I am comfortable with and I like doing something a bit different every once in a while and that's kind of what this is. So my thought in designing this layout is the fact that it's going to be right next to the other one that I just did on Tuesday. And so I want it to kind of start large on one side or really tall on one side with that 9 by 12 sheet and come more to a triangular shape to the right. Um, and you'll see I, for a brief moment at the end of this video, debate whether this is going to be the left side of the two-page spread or the right side. Now, they coordinate. It's not a true two-page spread because it's not the same. It doesn't read all the way across. Um, but they coordinate, so it, it's, it's easy to see the two pages next to each other, especially since I'm using a lot of the same products or the same tones of colors and things like that. So again, to the triangular pattern, it kind of starts tall on the left side and goes to the to a point to the right side, and then it flows right into the layout that's going to be on the right side, um, which is more of a centralized layout. It's it takes up less of the 12 by 12 space, so it kind of it it continues the same motion. I hope that makes sense. It's not coming out how how I'm trying to how I envision it in my head is not really coming out right in words. Um, I'm using the last little piece of this doily that I used on the last layout, and that yellow three by three card that I put down just says um, love, 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 love. No, it says love you, love you, love you, love you. And then I'm gonna put my journaling right here on top of that yellow card. 
just explaining that this is a Thanksgiving breakfast that we had at Kaylin's preschool and how I think it's such a fun thing to do to have a, um, a preschool, I mean a Thanksgiving breakfast. It's just a nice way to kind of start out your day. Now of course it wasn't on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving school is closed, but um, it's just kind of a nice little tradition of things to celebrate. And then my title, I'm just stamping right here using those Ellie Studio stamps. This is called Thankful. That's their collection name as well as that's what I stamped. Those are two separate stamps, but or because you, you could put thank you or thankful or um, there's a couple options there, but I'm just using the thankful. Okay, here's where I decide, okay, I don't like that background. Let's change it and let's make it on white. And this also makes the two pages seem a little bit more cohesive as well or coordinating, I guess you could say. So I just need to go back and add my border um, lines just like I did on the original craft paper that I was going to use. Now I've got these two like emoji stickers which may seem a little bit strange to you but I like the way it looks because it plays up on the polka dot and then I'm going to add a lot of other circle stickers um, here to that piece of paper as well. Okay, so I try stamping on my photo, which I never do, ever, and it like smeared, because I stamped and like moved my hand. So I had stamped a couple times on some white cardstock, so I just trimmed out one of those, and I cut it out, and um, I'm going to layer it right up here, and I've got that circle sticker to kind of ground that little banner on. Now I'll use these little glue dots that you see in this container to put down my sequins, um, but I also kind of like adding them sometimes behind some die cuts because it adds just a little bit of lift to it. This is where I'm adding a few more circle elements to just play off that polka dot. It's like a polka dot on polka dot paper. Now I love these. I didn't even realize that these were stickers until I pulled them out to use for these um, for these layouts. And these are basic gray label stickers from their Hello collection. These were out Tuesday morning. Basic gray has now went out of business, but these are, these are cool. I like having the stickers that are individually cut because you can move them around and, and everything without having to cut apart a 12 by 12 sheet. And I'm just adding a few different ones, a few circle elements on the left, a few speech bubbles, and then a label sticker that says date and location. And this layout is relatively easy and almost done. It only took me 37 minutes to complete. I think because I did it right after the other layout, the, my mojo was still flowing and, you know, I was just, it, everything was working out. So um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I do kit reviews. I have been doing a kit review series since January of 2016, and this is my sixth kit that I'm reviewing and I have another one already lined up for the rest of June from Coco Daisy and then I'm trying to figure out what my July kit is going to be so if you are new to my channel or if you have been a member of my channel but um, have not already joined the Facebook group that I started please go join that group I will put a link in the description box below um, it's a great way to kind of keep up with what's going on and then um I was finding out information like coupon codes for different kits and things that I've reviewed before, but didn't have a good way of distributing that information to you guys. So the Facebook group kind of solves that problem. So like I said, make sure you go subscribe um, or join that Facebook group and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all the great things that I have coming up. I'm just putting a few finishing touches here. I'm going to add a few of these sequins again and I'm just adding the, the gold primarily on this one. I didn't want to add too much green because there's not that bold green anywhere else on here. Just using my glue dots again to to layer these down, I'm not layer, to place these down. And then um, that is pretty much it. Stay tuned at the end for some still shots if you'd like to see those. And then check out the coordinating blog post that goes with this video if you would like more information. All right, guys, thank you so much and have a great afternoon. 